May the peace, mercy, and blessings of Allah be with you. Hello, everyone. Welcome back in English class. How was your day at the COVID-19? May Allah protect you and guide you at a straight path. Before we get started our lesson today, let's sing Basmala. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So, in this video, we are going to learn about suggestion and recommendation. Suggestions means saran and recommendation means recommendasi. Pay attention to the following concise dictionary. Suggestion, noun atau kata benda artinya saran. Suggest menyarankan. Advice, nasihat. Advice, menasihati. Decision, keputusan. Decide, memutuskan. Now, take a look at this condition. Perhatikan kondisi-kondisi berikut. Ayo, siapa yang pernah mengalami ini? Sleeping in the mosque. Tidur di masjid. Sleeping in the class. Tidur dalam kelas. The other conditions. Look at the picture. Ridiculers, pengajik-pengajik, were mocking. Mengajik and gossip dan bergosip. The last condition, cheating on exams. Menyontek saat ujian. Is that was condition we need to give suggestions. Berdasarkan kondisi di atas, pasti kalian perlu beri nasihat. According hadis number one, one of Muslim rights is give advice to others. Furthermore, I am going to pass that knowledge on to you. How to asking for someone suggestion, how to give suggestion, and how to respond suggestion and recommendation. The purpose of learning atau tujuan pembelajaran, the first, we have the student can identify the best suggestion with using should. Siswa dapat mengidentifikasi saran yang baik dengan menggunakan kata should. With using should, the students can give their suggestions to others. Selanjutnya, dengan menggunakan kata should atau sebaiknya, siswa dapat memberikan sarannya kepada yang lain. Saran, baik sarannya berupa nasihat, advice, or recommendation, atau solve the problems, atau mencari jalan keluar, atau menyelesaikan masalah. For the first, we have asking for suggestions. Minta saran, what should I do? Apa yang harus saya lakukan? Any ideas? Ada ide? Next, do you have any suggestions for me? Apakah kamu punya saran untukku? Other way, will you give me some suggestion? Maukah kamu memberiku beberapa saran? Can you give me some advice about? Bisakah memberiku beberapa nasihat tentang about school misalnya? Cara menanyakan saran atau meminta saran. Sekarang, bagaimana caranya memberi saran atau giving suggestion? Oke, okay, here we go. Will use models or auxiliary search? Tidak ada bunyi L ya di sana. I'll get silent so you can read it should. Untuk memberikan nasihat, kita menggunakan model should. Yang artinya, sebaiknya, seharusnya, semestinya. Pattern ataupun rumus penggunanya subject plus should plus verb one plus complement. Pattern two atau rumus berikutnya should menjadi should be subject plus should be plus adjective plus complement. For example, positive, you should eat more vegetables. Negative, you should not eat more vegetables. Interrogative, should you eat more vegetables? Ini saran untuk orang yang tidak suka makan sayur ya. Selanjutnya, jika should berpasangan dengan adjective menjadi should be plus adjective. Contohnya, they should be smarter after study hard. He should be ashamed come late to school. Dia seharusnya malu datang terlambat ke sekolah. Other ways to give suggestion, cara lain untuk memberikan saran. Oke, okay, for the first we have why don't you? Artinya mengapa kamu tidak? Contohnya why don't you go to the doctor? Mengapa kamu tidak pergi ke dokter? Berikutnya how about? Bagaimana kalau? Contohnya how about going to Mecca? Ya, contohnya temanmu sudah banyak tabungan, jadi kamu menyarankan dengan pertanyaan how about going to Mecca? Bagaimana kalau pergi ke Mecca? Nah. 
menggunakan statement you need to kamu perlu atau butuh contohnya you need to eat more vegetable kamu butuh makan banyak sayur gitu ini untuk orang yang ini ya yang uh, susah makan sayur selanjutnya menggunakan kata I suggest I recommend it. saya sarankan saya rekomendasikan contoh I suggest you go to the doctor saya sarankan kamu pergi ke dokter I suggest you go to the doctor saya sarankan kamu pergi ke dokter I recommend you watch this movie saya rekomendasikan kamu nonton film ini nah jadi ketika bercerita ke temanmu misalnya contohnya film Muhammad Al-Fatih karena serunya kamu rekomendasikan oke okay, my student are you with me so far? oke okay, uh, insya Allah ya paham ya Okay, the last one. Response. How to give response? Response consists of two. The first is accepting the suggestion and declining. Accepting artinya menerima saran. Jadi dia akan mengatakan hal-hal yang positif atau menerima. Contohnya, it sounds great. Itu kedengarannya hebat. Let's play back to giving suggestion. Kita kembali ya ke memberikan saran tadi. How about going to Mekah? Kamu bisa memberikan saran kalau kamu menerima saran tadi. Kamu mengatakan, it sounds good to me. Nah, itu kedaranya baik untukku. Next, that's good idea. That's good idea. Itu ide yang bagus. Selanjutnya, you're right. Kamu benar. Oke, okay, I will. Saya mau. Thanks. Terima kasih. Oke, okay, selanjutnya adalah declining atau refusing, artinya menolak. Nah, untuk respon declining or refusing atau menolak itu menggunakan semuanya kalimat negatif. Contohnya, I don't think that's a good idea. Saya pikir itu bukan ide yang bagus. Oke, okay, next. I'm not sure about that. Saya tidak yakin dengan itu. Nah, selanjutnya, sorry, but I don't think I can do that. Maaf, saya kira saya tidak bisa melakukannya. I understand. You eat when you are upset. Upset? I'm not upset. Why, 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 what makes you think I'm upset? So why are you upset? <sighs> I probably sucked more today than anyone in the history of Kung Fu. In the history of China? In the history of sucking? Probably. And the five? Man, you should have seen them. They totally hate me. Totally. How's Shifu ever gonna turn me into the dragon warrior? I mean, I'm not like the five. I've got no claws, no wings, no venom. Even Mantis has those thingies. <sighs> Maybe I should just quit and go back to making noodles. Quit, don't quit. Noodles, don't noodles. You are too concerned with what was and what will be. There's a saying, yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery, but today is a gift. That is why it is called the present. Quits! But a real warrior never quits. Don't worry, Master. I will never quit. I think that's all for today. See you. Uh, let's pray. Hamdala. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alamin. Allah yuftah alaikum wa billahi tafiq wal hidayah. Waridu wal inayah. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.